And this is my uh, Blood, Axe, Blood Axe Stompa I'm working on. It's kind of a work in progress still. I got the major parts of it done, uh, but there's still all the detail work to do. Uh, I was kind of in a hurry because I needed it uh, done for last night's for the uh, uh, for a painting challenge on the Free Buddhist Forum. Uh, it's only a three color minimum, which I did in the uh, 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 camo pattern alone. Um, so far, it's actually not turning out too bad. It's actually darker than it's showing up on the camera, at least on my screen. I don't know how it's going to be in the video. We'll see. Uh, but it's all the same colors that basically that was used in my uh, Blood Axe can, except I went over and I washed the whole thing with black, and now I wish I hadn't done that. It actually darkened up this, the uh, camo area way too much for my own personal taste. Um, but other than that, I mean, the camo pattern is really cool. It, it did all this with the airbrush. It took me about two hours, actually. The night before, I airbrushed the, the base color on. And you might be able to tell now, I'm not sure. But each individual panel, I did a light coat that was kind of uh, translucent over the black. And then I just airbrushed the main color in the middle, leaving the outside of each panel um, darker. Kind of like a, each panel was individually highlighted. But unfortunately, that looks like it was all lost with the wash as well, which kind of is disappointing. Um, so if I ever do any more uh, Blood Axe stuff, instead of washing the whole thing, I will just uh, use a liner or something and just get between the panels with black, which is really all I was wanting to do anyway. But uh, yeah, so far, other than the misstep with the, the wash, it's turning out pretty good. Uh, the metal parts, of course, were the Vallejo Model Air Black. Uh, then I did a um, 45 degree highlight with mixed in with some chain mail. Uh, but again, a lot of that was also dulled down with the black wash. So, um, maybe I should have gone with, Devil with a brown wash. Because like, I didn't use Bad Eye Black, I just made my own wash with black paint and lots and lots of flow aid. Uh, and sprayed it on with the airbrush. I think I should have gone with a brown wash instead. I think that would have worked much better. But, you know, live and learn, right? I'm still not, even though it's not exactly what I wanted, I'm totally not disappointed with the outcome at all. Um, obviously, I still need to do all the detail work. Uh, basically, each arm alone is, is its own major project um, with all the detail that's on this thing. But, yeah, I mean, it's not... I would consider it not to be a traditional stomp. I don't see. I don't think I've ever seen a blood axe stompa before, uh, with this decamo pattern. So, I can say that if I was if, if I was just doing a st standard red stompa uh, with an airbrush, it would be incredibly easy. In fact, I feel sorry for everyone who's painted a stompa without an airbrush or any other large model like this, because it's just this total work right down to this point. Uh, which is playable, I mean it's obviously not done, but it's more than playable, is uh, six hours. Six hours of actual work. And most of that was on the, uh, on the, uh, well not most of it, but I spent a lot of time on the camo pattern because I was using a Badger airbrush paint, which was really thin out of the bottle, and it was uh, kind of hard to spray. Uh, I would have been using my Master airbrush for that if I could, uh, but I didn't want to use the 0.2 tip. I wanted to use the 0.3 tip. And the O-ring for my 0.3 tip on my Master Airbrush is broken. So I either have the 0.2 or the 0.5. And neither of which I wanted to use on this project. So I had to use my Harbor Freight Airbrush, which could not really deal with the lower air pressure the thinner paint required. Uh, so it was, a, it was a challenge, but I got it done. And after a little bit of, of practice, I got the technique down. I also learned that not all enamels are water-based. Because <laughs> um, one of these colors is an enamel from testers, and I could have sworn it was a water-based enamel, but now it was a it's a it was an oil-based enamel. It was kind of hard to clean that up. So again, uh, it's always a learning process, isn't it? But uh, so anyway, I just got some details to do on this. Well, actually, I got a lot of details to do on this. Of course, it's also going to get a lot of pigmentation. It's going to be a rust bucket. Um, Oh, I can't know if you can tell in the video, but over the metallic black, I did a very, basically almost a wash of Vallejo Model Air Rust. Um, you can kind of see it in that right there. Not on the camera. 
So it was a wash of the Model Air Rust and then a wash of the black. Again, I should have used a brown wash. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, that's my Blood X Stompa work in progress. I still got a lot of work to do. And, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you later.